Adventurer, your search is over. Ahead of you is the dwelling place of the creature that has plagued the nearby village. As you approach, a palpable dread fills your senses. The earth shakes around you! And from the veil of snowfall the thing emerges and lets out a fearsome ro- I recently stumbled upon Critical Role here on YouTube, and it's a channel that's been around for some time apparently. And it features a group of voice actors playing Dungeons and & Dragons and having a really good time. And I've been hooked ever since. That in the holiday season led to this short animation. The result is by no means polished, but I was happy to discover that it's actually possible to quickly create an animated short based on a few loose ideas. So I thought I would share a few tips that made life easier for me while I was doing this. Here are 5 tips for when you're making a quick animation in Blender. You can tell Blender to switch between your cameras at the point in your timeline. To do this, select the camera, make it active, and on your timeline hit Ctrl B. You can do this for as many shots as you want, and once you reach the frame with the camera bound to it, Blender sets the bound camera to active. You can also move the markers around in the timeline after. If possible, break your scene up into smaller ones and just deal with elements that are visible through each camera. You can make a full copy of your scene for each shot and delete the elements that won't be in frame. This can help cut down render times for each shot. If you have a lot of animated elements in your scene and would rather not individually scale keyframes to slow or speed things up, you can use the time remapping option in the render settings. Increase the number of frames in the new field to slow your animations down, and vice versa. As you refine each shot, you likely have a few materials, maps, or other data in your scene that you might not need anymore. Use Purge All to get rid of orphan data and keep your scenes optimized. If time is short, there's no reason to model everything yourself. BlendSwap, Sketchfab, and other asset libraries may just have what you need. Since a lot of community members share their work for free, give them credit and let them know that their work is appreciated. And for a bonus tip, use a render farm. Render farms are essential to getting renders done in time for a deadline, but if you're looking to try one out on a personal project, check out our farm over at garagefarm.net. Uploading is easy, and when you register you get $50 worth of starting render credits. So I hope this video was helpful to you, and I hope it at least inspires you to mess around in Blender over the holidays, and maybe come up with something of your own. Happy blending, and happy holidays!